Hello, in this Visual Basic programming tutorial, I am going to show you how to open files, you know, like a text file, for example, how to read data from it, and even how to save data. Honestly, it's pretty simple. First thing you need to do is import a file. So, in course, we just do import, and if it's system.io, so this will allow you to, you know, do input output of a file. And now, first of all, we're going to do dim. And this is going to be like the file stream in pretty much all programming languages. You use something called a stream to be able to, you know, get data in from a file and to be able to use it and manipulate it. So I'm going to call this file and it's as file stream. This equals a new file stream. And I'm going to load a file called file.txt. This does not exist at the moment. I'm going to create it once I've done the code, which isn't actually that long, to be fair. So we're going to do file mode. So there's a bunch of different modes that we can specify. So dot, you know, open or create is pretty cool. So what that does is it opens a file if it already exists. So if file.txt exists, if not, you'll create it. So, that, so that's really useful. But there's a bunch of other modes as well. And, you know, truncate, I think you can guess what that does append and you can just open and just create or create new. Feel free to experiment as an extra task. So now, just put comma again and we do file access. And this is, you know, the sort of mode we have. We're going to do read and write, but you may just want it in read mode so there's no accidental writing or just write. Maybe you don't want to read anything from it. Okay, so that's all good. We've, you know, got the file now. So we're going to create an integer, so dim itr as integer, and this is basically going to be our loop to be able to loop over the content of the file. So what we are going to do, what we are going to do is for itr equals zero to we can just do file.length, so we can actually get the length of the file, so this is very dynamic, which is really cool. Let's do console.write, and now we are going to write, you know, the actual content to the console. So I'm going to say file.read byte, and you'll see what this does. And afterwards, it's good practice once you've used the file and you know you don't need to use it anymore to close it to file.close. So this just handles some management behind the scenes. Good practice to do it. So if we go to the project, so this is my project directory. The file that it tries to access or create is in the bin directory in debug or release is basically wherever your executable is essentially. So if you were to move that somewhere, it will be there. So here, as you can see, there's no file at the moment. So let's see what happens if I run it. So I run it, we get minus one. That's just just the end of the file. And as you can see, file.txt has been created. I want to put some you know, characters in here, put some text. I'm going to say ABC, and I'm going to say hello world. And you'll sort of see the importance of the ABC part, more just for demonstration purposes. I've saved it now. And I'm going to run it again. So as you can see now, okay, I am going to print line, not right, because it'll be a lot easier to see. Otherwise, it's just a mixture. We got ABC, which is in ASCII 65, 66, 67. Then you've got 32, and 32 again, so that's the space character. Then we got hello, and then world, and then just the end of file. So the minus one indicates end of file if you need to check that out. There we go, hello world. So that is cool. So it reads it in ASCII. That's something to bear in mind. So if you need to, you know, print something out, let's say, get this content, you probably won't just print out 65. You'll print out the ASCII equivalent. So as an extra task, I want you to do that, print it out, you know, in the console as the actual, you know, characters. But this is how you read files. And to actually write to the console, what I'll do is I'm going to do four. So I'm actually going to comment this out, the reading code. So comment out the reading code. I'll make a comment here. Reading code. Let's say four. ITR equals zero. 
to let's say 100 so we're actually just going to essentially just add a bunch of numbers in there and um, the way we do that we can do file dot write byte not read write write byte now and we need to do c byte and then we just specify what we're writing so I'm just going to say I T R and I mean you can guess what this will do if I save it and run it okay so nothing gets printed out that is fine if I open the file we get you know you know this you know text here so again that is okay because it's written the content from 0 to 100 and if I were to essentially just on comment out this and uh, we don't need to keep writing it so if I do that I, I need to have that commented as you can see we have the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 da, 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 da. but again you know have it stored in the file from your writing you don't need to really worry about that so I'll make a comment here so you can access this from the github code writing code and that's it honestly you can write as much as you want as little as you want to a file it's totally up to you thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial